Un cuicho. Thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon again to everyone. Uh, sir, I now want to focus to a topic that has been discussed quite a bit, but I'll keep it brief. And this is your understanding of Committee 870. And so I'm going to begin by referring you to your statement of E3 64. This would have been your first statement. I'm looking at, in English it would be page 7, Khmer, it's 0, 0, 3, French, 0, 0. 4141 they were sent to the typist, group, and then sent to the standing, standing committee. And in parentheses, we see committee eight After that, Pon and Te annotated the telegrams whom these telegrams would be sent to. So here. You state that committee is a standing committee. Now, if you go to page 13 in the same statement, a few pages further down, French, it's 0-0-4-1-1-7-0-3-0-4, and English, 0-0-3-3-4-0-5-4. Here you're asked the question, what is it always sent to all the standing committee members, or was it just sent to this or that person, but not all. Mostly it was sent to Committee 870, but in some cases it was not sent to all of the standing committee members. It was only sent to the relevant persons who were responsible for making a response. Question. What did, quote, to Committee 870, on mean, did that refer to? Answer. It referred to the entire Central Committee. Let's stop here. In one statement, you say that the Standing Committee is Committee 870, and then later on you say it is the Central Committee. Were you guessing or were you presuming when you made these statements or was this based on actual knowledge? Uh, ជាចម្លើយដែលខ្ញុំបានស្លប់ឃើញសាទូលេខគេច្រើនវាច្រើនបែបច្រើនយ៉ាងដែលគេខ្លះគេដាក់ថាដំណាក់ 
เอกาสันิธานระบอกยมทายังนะเวียมันประกอบได้ขนมขนมครูขยมเลยปีปลุกสาเพชรันได้กิจูนกันหนักผมใบรอยจัดลูกมือเธอคือที่หอสามมุ้ยเลยปีรอยสามสับผมมุ้ยกรุบจูนกันหนักผมใบรอยจัดให้หนาคลาเล่เล่มิสตาพิวเฮียร์มีตัวอีกสองคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้องสมคำที่ต้อง A few pages later, in the same statement, which you signed as being true, accurate, and complete, you say that 870 committee 870 is a central committee. Which of the two is it? We have two different versions. Did you actually know when you made that statement? บาดเปียดเด็กชมประกอบขนมจัดเชิงเก๋คือท่าเปียไม่ช่ำดมดองบาบา Let me stop you there I want you to answer my question please sir We have Central Committee and Standing Committee สมเชยลูกดำนางสาบเรียะกมาตอนปตอติดสะเซงมาตอนเฉลยดำนางเปรียะ Your Honour's repeatedly my learned friend asks the question the witness attempts to provide a response when the response is not satisfactory to my friend he interrupts and I might say quite abruptly that I will invite the chamber to direct my learned friend to lower his tone to treat the witness with respect that he deserves and to stop interrupting him and allow him to answer the questions he's being asked. Mr. President, I would like to ask you to ask the question and 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 ask the question ในปีเดสูสะใสให้สะใสฉลาดให้ยังกัดไกรลูกบารมธานติจิตสะใสเลยฉลาดมิสเตอร์ผู้ประกอบการฉันกำลังพยายามที่จะให้ความรู้สึกถึงเวลาที่จะไปที่ไหนแต่ฉันไม่สามารถที่จะกลับมาในวันที่สองในวันที่สามในวันที่สามในวันที่สามในวันที่สามในวันที่สามในวันที่สามในวันที่สามในวันที่สามในวันที่สามในวันที่สามในวันที่สามในวันที่สามในวันที่สามใน In English, at least, in one page, you say that Committee 870 is the Standing Committee, the Standing Committee, nothing about party there. A few pages later, you say that Committee 870 is the Central Committee. Let me ask you this. Do you know whether there is a difference between a standing committee and a central committee? Let's start with that. Do you see the difference? In your answer, ปานนั่นคือข้อเขียนแมนบ
à mỗi lúc đã thà không vùng cái chợ cái nạ chân trái, tại nên đã thà cái nạ chân trái cứ cái nạ mà chầm, now When this statement was read to you, and you signed it as being truthful and accurate, can you please tell us whether at the time when you did so, this was a mere oversight? Lúc xua một đồng tiết, phía xa khám ái sẽ đạp mình vô lề Vì phụ bộ bài mình toán Very well Now we know at the When you When you finished with your interview And they came back five weeks later They read the interview back to you And then you signed it without making These corrections at least You've told us that there is a difference Between the standing committee and the central committee And so my question now is Was this a mere oversight on your part when you indicated that committee 870 is both the standing committee and the central committee? Or did you not know at the time? Ba khi ông mình bàn sự kết lừa chấp ở rom lừa biển nâng thà cả bọ sải kho mũi thà cả nã chân trái mũi thà cả nã bị chầm còn tại xa nước việt mình đang khơi cái đã cả nã chân trái xây cả nã bị chầm xây nhưng cái miền bắc chạy nhưng mà thà ưu thế họ xa nè trong sầm an lừa xa nè cả nã bọ chún cả nã bọ bay rồi chết hỡi chầm lòng chún nó ôm ôm nuôn ôm văn ôm vốn Bong kiu chẳng chăm sóc nó mất ha a vay đai mình miên cân nặng mà chăm tung ở đây a nâng ku chia cân nặng chân trai ai nẹp bom mát nẹp 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 Your understanding right now, today, is that committee 870 is the standing committee. And it, and it is not, it is not the central committee. That's your testimony today. All right. Now, you also indicated in your testimony uh, that some of these terms were used interchangeably as far as Committee 870, Office 870, 870, and this can be found on the transcript of 4 September 2012. And let's see what you said on that day. Khmer 0084-4493, French, page 60-61, English, page 55. You say, I am not really sure concerning the term committee. That's why I stated as what I am not sure. Sometimes I read Committee 870, or sometimes Office 870. Sometimes they are only note, noted 870 alone, without committee or office. And this makes it difficult for me to be more precise because the terms are interchangeably used, and it is difficult to recognize it which is which. I take it you stand by that answer of yours. 
อาจยอมเรียกสาธุกระดับ And then, มีตัวไปให้บันทึกมา on September 3 2 0 0 9 t there was a question posed to you, and I'm going to refer you to page m e r zero zero eight four four two two t French page sixty nine, English page sixty nine, where you begin with with M as you already read, it refers to office. It is correct. Eighty seven, eight seventy is similar to office eight seventy. It refers to the central committee. Even the term "anka" eight seventy is always interchangeably used to refer to M eight seventy or to office eight seventy or to just eight seventy, which was then the center. Question by the prosecutor. So, do I understand correctly that all those various designations, Anka, M870, are references to the Central Committee as you understood it? Answer: That's my understanding. Yes. Do you recall being posed that question? In giving that answer. But, some doubt to look, collide my chum, young man, ma. Doubt to look my chum. Oh, the men late from Bayro Chetna. Okay, well, let me make sure that we, nothing is being lost uh, in translation. You told us that Committee 870, for sure, based on your understanding then, was the standing committee. Now, I'm showing you part of your testimony where you're mentioning 870 in various different contexts, which acknowledge that it was used interchangeably. And here you're saying that this referred to the Central Committee. Are you making a distinction between 870 and Committee 870? Given that you've already indicated that you could not really understand which was which at the time. But some women forgot her. The rink and not nung on car. Maybe we have a bar by Jay Thai. She actually tried to reach my chum. When I wait, the chum forgot. Knong chat good late from Bayroy Jet. But from Bayroy Jet and High Good Good Chibashi my chum. My let Chibashi and Kiku my chum mong. Hi. Right, but I'm trying to make sure that you answer my question because I'm trying to establish whether you are guessing, whether you are assuming or presuming that Committee 870 is the standing committee. Or the central committee, and it appears that you today don't really know. Would that be a fair assessment of what we're hearing from you? But Pietha Manparkot, Kumun Chiba, Kumun Dang, Ba. แต่เอาไว้แต่ดังแบบก็คือเลขผมใบร้อยเจ็ดเมียนได้ทำมาชมมา Thank you All right now if we move along to 
what one witness told us, his name is Professor David Chandler. And of course, his name came up in one of the objections by the prosecution who reminded us that he, had, he was uh, well studied in Cambodian history, particularly this period. If we look at what Mr. Chandler told us, and I'm referring to his testimony of uh, 24 July 2012, Khmer page 0082-66-44-45, French 0082-86-07-08, English 0082-87-55-55. And here, a question is being posed to him, and I'll read the relevant part. And you gave us an explanation. And at one point in your testimony, you said that Pol Pot was also referred to as 870, quote, 870, unquote. The answer, yes, again, I don't like to quibble, but I don't think it was considered, I don't think he was considered as Anka. I think his code name was 870. Then, later on, on page 70, in English, or in Khmer, it would be 0082-6664-65, French 0082-86-37-38. And then English, 0, 0, 8, 82, 8, 7, 8, 5. He then again states, in part, I certainly, but I had certainly known and I have testified on this point several times with no reference to the closing order that 870 was a code name for Pol Pot. This is a well-known throughout my research. This is well-known throughout my research, and I've written about it. Now, here's my question. Would you like to provide us with an opinion whether Mr. Chandler, uh, concerning Mr. Chandler's analysis as a historian, that 870 referred to Pol Pot, at least at times? Your Honours, we would object to this question. Uh, the witness was asked about his understanding of the facts. He's given his answers. Uh, he's been asked the question, the question over and over again. Um, it is not appropriate for him to be asked to opine on the opinions of experts. It adds nothing to the inquiry. He's already told us what his understanding was, and that's where the inquiry should end. I'll rephrase, Mr. President. I'll rephrase. Was Paul Pot ever referred to or known as 870? To your knowledge at the time. ตามเอาไว้ได้ลุกดังนู่นตามเข้มดังคือ <coughs> บ่เกฮาวกอดคือบ่องปอลจังบ่องบ่าปอลคือปอลปอได้ so to your knowledge 870 never meant pol pot to your knowledge
Right. Sir, I never said anything about Office 870. I'm referring to 870. To your understanding, 8 Pol Pot was never referred to or understood to be 870. มาเกมันได้ปราปลปอนั้นทาผมใบรอยจัดเด้บ่าผมบ่าเกยดะเล็กผมใบรอยจัดนั้นคือเอ่อแทงกือจือร่วมบ่าเป็นผู้ผู้
And are you suggesting to the trial chamber that they should remove and disregard this part of your statement where you say uh, that he would convene a standing committee uh, meeting to make a decision, particularly in light of the fact that you never participated in any standing committee meetings? But are you asking the trial chamber to disregard this part of your statement because it's a presumption on your part? Thank you. I'm most grateful. If we could look at your next statement, which is E3 slash 67, and this is just another example, uh, Khmer page 00294543-44, French 00374939. In English, 0048-3972, or page 10, I believe. Um, if we look at this document, you're asked the question on paragraph number 19, and it refers to direction of 870, direction of 870 dated 3 January 1978. And then you begin by saying that you recognize the handwriting, it was Pol Pot, because he had the right to make corrections. Now let me ask you this. Did you actually recognize the handwriting to be Pol Pot, or did you assume it was Pol Pot because you assumed that he had the right to make corrections? Okay, thank you. Now you go on to say, in part of your answer, this document may have belonged to Committee 870 coming from a discussion meeting. It was made into minutes, but it is neither known who else had participated, nor had the meeting location been disclosed. But sometimes it was Pol Pot's idea too. He first wrote it and put it to the meeting of Committee 870 for approval. He drew red lines underneath any important points. And then it goes on. Now, I notice that you use the word uh, may. Is this another one of those situations where, you're, where you are given a document to analyze, and you are providing assumptions. Thank you. Now, if we go on to uh, back to the statement of E3 
67, and I'm referring to uh, Khmer page 0029454647003749411. That was the French. English 00483974. My apologies. Or page 12. That's the starting point. You're shown a document titled Standing Committee Meeting on 9 October 1975. Now, you've already told us that you've never been to any Standing Committee meetings, but let's look at what you say two pages later on page 14 of English. And Khmer, it would end with 48 to 49 French, 42 to 43 English, 76. According to my own analysis, some did not take and execute the standing committee instructions completely because they used their power as senior. I just saw one last document saying that they had not asked for the comments of the standing committee, but already shot 40 people to death, then reported afterwards. And in some cases, no report was made. Based on this answer, is this analysis based on your personal experience in the field of which you told us you never went to the base? Or is it based on you reading the document, looking at other documents, and trying to provide answers to the investigators? ខ្ញុំបានដាក់តាំងពីដើមទីថាតាមការវិភាករបស់ខ្ញុំផ្ទាល់បាទអញ្ចឹងគឺជាការវិភាក់ទេហើយក៏មិនមែនដែលខ្
instructions, it is improper to be asking the witness to now advise you how you should assess his evidence. Um, in any event, it is improper to ask a witness um, such a question. Your Honours are perfectly capable of assessing the evidence that is before you. And we've heard the limits of that evidence and we've heard clearly uh, the witness specified when he spoke from personal experience and when he was analysing based on, on that experience or uh, perhaps making assumptions. If I may briefly respond, Mr President, Your Honours, the gentleman over the last three or four days has been questioned concerning the manner in which the statements were taken, how he read them and signed them at the time, and when presented with certain segments of his statements had indicated over and over and over again that he made some assumptions, that he made, that he speculated, I can use that word in this context, uh, and that uh, he provided some analyses at times of which he did not have any personal knowledge but was merely reading the text and trying to provide some sort of an answer. He's also indicated over the past three or four days that the trial chamber should disregard those, uh, those portions in his testimony where he says maybe, perhaps, in my opinion, it's my understanding. I'm merely asking the gentleman, is that based on his answers today, does he wish the trial chamber to be cautious and, 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 and circumspect in accepting anything that is in his statements? Thank you, President. Uh, the trial chamber uh, upholds the objection by the prosecutor. Uh, the judges uh, will take into account the various matters that have been raised during examination of this witness, uh, both in its to uh, re relating to the evidence in its totality and to uh, specific portions of his evidence, and the judges are quite capable of coming to this conclusion. Thank you, Mr. Carnivus. I'm most grateful, uh, Judge Cartwright. It was merely a summary uh, wrap-up question. And with that, sir, on behalf of Ms. Inksiri, Mr. Angle Dong and I and the rest of the Inksiri defense team wish to thank you for coming here to give your evidence. We wish you safe travels and good luck. Thank you very much, and thank you very much, Your Honors. បាទឥឡូវនេះអឺសាលពេលវេលាតិចតួចដែរហ្នឹងអង្គការសម្រាប់ការសម្រាប់ថ្ងៃនេះដល់ពេលត្រូវសម្រាក់ដែរហើយអ
Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn ông dùng ra mình cứ sắm là cà tê để hai thay cho cầm này ông dùng ra trời bị chung bị chia xa tây khánh nông đồng bài sắm rải được bảy hai trăm bảy một tuần một chục nón hai nâng bảy hai một tiết miền trà cầm bắc xa một chục nón này ở vào tộc này ông dùng ra bị tầm này này giờ là ông dùng ra là tập bốn trời chầu ruộng bị chung được khánh nông cả nạm cam cá bị thiên tây khánh nông nâng lên để bị thi này ở vào tộc cò xôm sa thiên đại chun nâng thiết kế triệp lúc nông dập phong cả thợ đập cây cam rồi lúc hồ đập bên đi bàn chọc hơi hay vật tự nhiên nó bật lúc nở vật tự có lấy nhiên phiệp chạm bay chết hơi lúc ai vừa tập lấp từ lùm đờ than bật lúc đưa cọc cua đá rồi lúc trong từ bàn hơi hay ông chấm ra sôm ở cun chụp bồ lúc đại bàn là chơi một đoạt cây cam nơi chụp một ông chấm ra chỉ cần thay cái lòng một đi hay đại miền phiệp ở ông nọ ở thôn một khát khom ở phía dưới mặt phiệp sẽ cây cam bật lúc nơi นางอาจจะรู้ไม่เพียงกระเตี้ยนในขนมกาไฟดอกกาปิดในเรื่องใดนี่ไอ้สมโลกจูบแต่ตันมาสมนางละอ้อนนางเพื่อดำนาเวล